Hello, this is Jonathan with Robotus, and today I'll be providing you with an overview of the features and capabilities of Robotus' Dynamixel family of integrated smart circuits, so that you can make an informed decision about the Dynamixel actuator that best suits your application. Before going into the specifics of each Dynamixel model, we should go over some of the most important specifications to consider when selecting a Dynamixel for your application. One of the most important ways to evaluate a Dynamixel, or any electric motor, is by looking at the actuator's performance graph also known as an NT graph. The NT graph displays the motor's performance relationship between output speed, torque, current draw, and efficiency. Learning how to read this graph will give you the best idea of the expected performance of a Dynamixel actuator, as well as its ideal performance band and overall efficiency. An important specification requiring consideration for your application is the operating voltage. This defines the recommended input voltage for each model of Dynamixel actuator which ranges from 5 volts for the XL330 all the way up to 24 volts for our industrial E-series Dynamixels. The final two specifications that are common amongst all Dynamixel actuators are the reduction ratio and serial protocol of our Dynamixels. The reduction ratio measures how much of the rotational speed from the internal motor is converted into torque at the output horn. Higher numbers mean more output torque but lower output speed. The serial protocol specifies which of two available communications protocols is supported by a particular model of Dynamixel. T indicates support for TTL communications, while R indicates RS-485 support. Dynamixels utilizing different serial ports can't be used in the same Dynamixel network without a Dynamixel communication bridge. If you'd like to learn more about these specifications, or any other technical information about any of Robotus's products, all of our technical documentation and specifications are available on our online e-manual linked in the video description. With that out of the way, we can start discussing the servos themselves. Dynamixels are divided into two major families, P-series high-performance Dynamixels designed for industrial robotics and large-scale animatronics, and the Dynamixel X-series, which is in turn comprised of several sub-series of Dynamixels, each with their own features and strengths. To start, Here's a quick overview of every Dynamixel X subseries. If one of the series I mentioned here sounds like a great fit for your application, feel free to skip to that section of the video using the timestamp in the description for more information. The best place for new users is likely with the XL series, designed for hobbyists and educators who don't need a high-powered servo for their application. Next up is the XC series, a strong middle ground between cost and performance. Ideal for maker projects and light robotics use. Then come the XM, XH, and XT series servos. These form the backbone of the Dynamixel product line, with the XM series providing the best all-around value, perfect for mid-sized robotics and industrial automation. The XH series is an improved line similar to the XM series, providing additional capability, as well as high voltage models designed for use alongside P-series actuators. The XD series, in turn based upon the XH, with an emphasis of increased durability resulting in over 200% expected lifetimes over equivalent XH models. Finally, the XW series of ingress protected servos for use in environments where exposure to liquids or particulates are a concern. Now that you have an idea of all of the available models of Dynamixel X series, I can provide some more specific information on each of these Dynamixel families before moving on to Dynamixel P. The Dynamixel XL series is an introductory series designed for prototyping and light duty loads. This series features our 330 size ultra compact servos for applications where space is at a premium. The XL series features both casing and gears comprised of engineering grade plastic to provide strong durability at an affordable price. Through this construction, XL servos are not recommended for use in applications where high durability or impact resistance are required. The XL series also features the two XL430 dual axis servos, a compact solution for providing two degrees of freedom from a single actuator. Operational voltages for XL series servos range from 5 volt to 11 volt, depending on the specific model. XL series motors are only provided with support for TTL serial communications and can't be integrated into RS-485 systems without the use of a Dynamixel communications bridge. The Dynamixel XC series strikes a balance between the performance of the XM series and the affordability of the XL series. XC series servos also feature engineering grade plastic casings, 
but have fully metal internal gears to provide increased performance and reliability while maintaining an affordable price. Due to their improved construction, the XC series is suitable for light to medium duty robotics use. The operational voltages for XC servos range from 5 volts to 12 volts, and the XC series also features a line of 330 model compact servos as well as a 2XC430 dual axis actuator with an integrated cordless motor. XC series servos are only available with support for TTL serial communication and can't be used in RS45 systems without the use of a dynamixel communication grid. The XM, XH, and XD series servos are the core of the Dynamixel family, providing the best mix of high performance and affordability, with the different series allowing users to choose the performance characteristics more important to them. XM, XH, and XD series servos feature aluminum casing on the front and sides of the unit, providing increased durability as well as heat dissipation, allowing extended operating times and overall lifetime. XM series servos are well suited to medium duty applications, providing great performance and flexibility. XH servos bridge the gap between the XM and the P series, providing high performance at a fraction of the cost of P series servos, as well as offering 24 volt models for use alongside P series actuators. XD series servos provide similar performance to equivalent XH models, but feature gears made of alternative alloys for enhanced durability, with lifetimes over twice as long as their equivalent XH servos, making them perfect for applications requiring extreme durability or maximum uptime. All XM, XH, and XD Dynamixels have 12 volt operational voltages, with specialty XH models available with 24 volt support for use alongside P series servos. These Dynamixel models are also available in both RS485 and TTL communications protocols allowing users to choose the one best fitting their application. The XW series is the first specialty series of Dynamixel offered by Robotics. Designed from the ground up for superior ingress protection, providing an IP68 rating against intrusion for one meter of submersion over 24 hours. This makes XW series Dynamixels the only capable of operation in wet or dusty environments or while completely submerged. The XW series has a similar performance profile to our XH series servos and features 12 volt operational voltages and support for RS45 serial communication. Now that we've gone over the Dynamixel X series lineup, it's time to talk about Robotics' high performance product line. The Dynamixel P series, our upcoming DY industrial actuators, and the DYD standalone gear reducer. Dynamixel P series servos are Robotics' current flagship robot actuators providing the highest performance and precision available from the Dynamixel family. P-Series servos feature all aluminum construction and an integrated cycloidal gear reduction, providing compact and low backlash operation without impacting back drivability. The P-Series also features the most precise encoders and sensors of any Dynamixel model to date, offering 1 million steps of movement resolution to ensure accurate and repeatable motion. Additionally, P-Series servos feature four external input ports for connecting additional sensors, accessories, or other third-party components. Dynamixel P-Series actuators are available in three sizes and a variety of output power, providing the flexibility to choose the actuator that best fits your application. The DY family is Robotics' upcoming line of precision, high-performance robotics actuators. Similar to other offerings in the Dynamixel family, these actuators are all-in-one components that include everything needed for high-precision motion. What sets the DY family apart from the rest is our new focus on modularity and configurability. The DY platform allows you to choose the motor, gear reduction, encoder, and even mechanical brakes to be included in your unique DY actuator fitted perfectly to your application. The DY is currently on track for release in the latter half of 2023. But if you're interested, you can reach out to us with any questions you may have at our contact links in the video description. The final high performance component in Robotics' catalog is the DYD Gear Reducer. The DYD is a standalone version of the cycloidal gearhead featured in our P Series and DY Dynamics actuator. This enables the use of Robotics' patented compact and durable cycloidal reduction solution with any actuator or DC motor. The DYD features solid steel construction to maximize service life and is designed with a familiar form factor to enable integration into existing systems. 
The DUID is available in six different configurations, offering various sizes, gear reduction, and mounting options to allow the selection of the best unit for your design. Hopefully this video has given you a good idea of what each member of the Dynamixel family is capable of, as well as providing you the information that you need to select the right actuator for your robot. If you'd like to learn more, you can check out some of the tutorial videos available here on this YouTube channel, take a look at the technical documentation available in our online e-manual, or pop in and ask some questions on the Robotus community forum. This has been Jonathan at Robotus, and I look forward to making more with you soon.